Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at multiple selectors and how we can select two uh, elements on a page if we want to assign, for example, an event handler to them. Now, as an example, I'm going to go ahead and create a button and a paragraph, and both of these are going to take the same action when we click on them. When we click on the button, we're going to show an alert dialog, and when we click on the paragraph, we're also going to show an alert dialog. However, we're going to use multiple selectors to bind the two elements or select the two elements uh, and perform the same action. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it the incorrect way first of all, and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust this and do it the correct way using multiple selectors. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a button. So the input type is button. I'm going to give this a value and this is called click me or press me more appropriately. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assign an ID to this, and this is just going to be button. And I'm going to come down, I'm going to create a paragraph as well, and I'm going to give this an ID of paragraph. So inside here, I'm going to say click me. Now, if we go over to our page and refresh, you see we've got a button here which we can click, and a paragraph which we can also click uh, once we've assigned uh, event handlers uh, to both of them. So we're going to go over to selectors.js, which is an external file that I've created where we're going to write our JavaScript code and we're going to write jQuery inside of here. However, I'm going to go ahead and need to include this on my page first of all. So I'm going to use uh, a script include here uh, to um, include the source of a JavaScript file. Obviously, it's always better to keep uh, exter uh, JavaScript code external and in different files. So I choose this selectors.js file, and that's te type text forward slash JavaScript, uh, exactly the same as we include jQuery. So we've now got the use of jQuery and this selectors.js file, uh, which is currently blank. So we need to go ahead and first of all uh, assign an event handler to this button. So we do, in, we do that using normal selectors. Remember, we have um, an ID of button, so we in here we use a hash, and then we give the name of the ID, or the value of the ID, and then we assign a click event handler to this. Now inside here, we're gonna go ahead and create a function, and just bring this code down so we have, or this line here down, so we have uh, the space in here to write this out, and indent, it looks uh, a lot nicer. And I'm gonna go ahead and alert something out. So um, let's say something was clicked, or something was pressed clicked. So now we have this uh, click event handler assigned to this button ID, uh, we, can, we uh, go ahead and alert something out. So let's go ahead to our page and test this. When I click press me, you'll see something was pressed forward slash clicked. So we have the correct alert box. Now with regards to the paragraph, uh, there's no event handler bound to this. So we need to go ahead and uh, um, add this event handler. Now this is the incorrect way to do it, so don't take this as uh, you know the advice I'm giving you. But we would go ahead and if we were using the paragraph, we'd do it in exactly the same way. So we'd use a hash to reference the ID paragraph. So we go ahead and type in paragraph. And then we use the same event handler just here with a function inside of it, uh, with our block of code here, which we can bring down. And again, we do exactly the same thing. So alert something was pressed forward slash clicked. So now what's going to happen is we've uh, bound this event handler to our paragraph. So now when we click our um, paragraph, we have this message here, which we defined just here. Now, if we wanted the same alert box to happen for both of these elements, what we've actually done here is unnecessarily duplicated code. So we can use uh, an unlimited amount of uh, handlers inside of one uh, selector. So let's go ahead and adjust this accordingly. Now we've already referenced hash button, so the uh, button that has the ID button. Now what we can do is comma separate the values that we want to use in each selection. So now I can just add in paragraph here, and what jQuery will do is it will select both of these elements and apply this event handler to it. So now when we go over to our page, we have the same result when we click the button, and we have the same result when we click the paragraph as well. So now that we've bound this uh, to both of our elements, uh, we have the same uh, action performed uh, for each paragraph. Now what happens if we want to go ahead and only assign this to example uh, only buttons on our page? Uh, we can use uh, the button selector, so it's input and then a colon 
and button. So this will select all input types with the, uh, with the type button or all input fields with the type button as well as any IDs with paragraph. However, we can also go ahead and change this and just use P. So we don't just need to reference using IDs, we can now remove these IDs. And what this uh, selector has now done is selected all buttons on the page or all paragraphs on the page. So if you had a few buttons that you wanted to log an event, for example, for each button that's pressed on your entire page, uh, you can go ahead and just use this input button selector. So as well as using multiple selectors, I guess now uh, we've learned that you can use uh, a type selector rather than uh, referencing it with a hash and its ID. So all paragraphs and all input buttons uh, or input fields with a type button are now going to be uh, assigned this event uh, and will alert a dialog when they are clicked. So let's go ahead to our page and just test that. Press the button and we see the button has been pressed and we have this alert box. And when we click the paragraph, we also have the same alert box as well. So we can go ahead and we can assign uh, an unlimited amount of uh, event handlers just here uh, inside of our selector. So that's how we use multiple selectors in jQuery uh, and how you can dramatically reduce duplicating code uh, using this method.